Hi, my name is Victoria Swillam, and I am a senior dance major at Dean College located in Franklin, Massachusetts. I'm here to talk to you today about Twyla Tharp's book titled The Creative Process. I will be discussing three chapters within her book um, and relating their themes to my life and my creative processes. The first chapter I'd like to talk about today is chapter two, which is titled Rituals. In this chapter, Twyla talks about rituals that she uses in her life and in her creative life as well. Um, she goes through kind of like what her morning routine is like and how she does the same thing every time she wants to create something. I can really relate this to my life because I'm a very ritual and habit orientation orientated person um, and I really enjoy rituals. I like doing things the same way every time. I look, like putting things in the same places that I had them. Um, and I find that me and Twyla are very similar on this aspect, and I've noticed this after reading that chapter specifically. The next chapter that I would like to talk about is chapter four, which is about memory. Um, she claims that there are many different forms of memory, and she goes through each of the different forms and um, kind of what forms of memory she uses, whether it's within life or within choreography or any sort of her creative habits. Um, and she also says that memory is a way of perceiving, um, so it's not necessarily things that may have actually happened, it's kind of your thoughts and your emotions while whatever event happened was happening, and that's kind of what forms your memory. And um, from past knowledge, I also know that uh, memories are formed more from conversation than the actual event itself, so if an event was talked about, a lot um, or there was a lot of conversation around a certain event you're gonna remember what was said in those conversations more than you're gonna remember the actual event but those conversations are what help you remember the specific event um, so I really enjoyed this chapter um, I love learning about memory and how people remember things and stuff like that um, I personally think I have a very bad memory um, and it's kind of interesting to learn about that. She also talked about how one of the main fears as she's grown older and as other people in her life has grown older is the fear of forgetting things uh, and the fear of losing those memories, which is also kind of why she started to write this book about her creative habits and her life, um, just so that she didn't lose all of these things that she had collected along her creative life. Um, and so you wanted to be able to share them with people. Uh, another chapter that I would like to talk about is chapter seven, and it talks about accidents. Um, it's saying how you can kind of plan all you want, but you never know how something's gonna play out until it happens. Um, and she also talks about how accidents aren't always a bad thing. I think most people kind of perceive accidents or mistakes as such a negative, Thing and they take so much weight and bearing on your emotions and your feelings about a certain thing. Um, and I like how Twyla kind of turns that around and talks about accidents being a good thing and about how they're kind of supposed to happen with a purpose and how you can't take accidents um, with such a negative connotation. So I think that was really cool. And I like to kind of think the same way, at least I try to. Um, I try to kind of go with the flow and kind of let whatever happens happen and kind of like roll with the punches. So I like how she's not viewing accidents in a negative way. And um, she also talked about how some of her best works have come out of accidents or have come out of things not going the way that she planned. Um, going off of that, she also kind of talked about planning in general um, and how there's good ways to plan and there's bad ways to plan and sometimes too much planning can be a bad thing. So I definitely also agree with that statement and I think if you plan too much, you set your expectations too high um, and that can kind of lead to disappointment in the end and it kind of constricts the, the amount of creativity um, that can be allowed within those plans that you make for yourself. Uh, so in conclusion of all of these, um, I tend to find myself agreeing with Twyla quite frequently, um, and I really enjoy learning about her outlook on creativity and her outlook on life in general, and I think that this book was a great way to kind of dive deep into my own creative habits um, and kind of learn 
maybe why I do those things or how I can change them to better my creative habits um, to produce products that could be better or could be worse. But sometimes failure isn't always a bad thing. Thank you.